Molly music, baby. That's all I care about tonight. <laughs> Molly music and Brian Henry. Welcome to the show tonight. Molly music. Doctor, hey, Molly. how you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. It is man. good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you too. When when you popped up early, I, I wanted to immediately embrace you, so I can't wait for this. <laughs> Listen, the first time we met, one of the things I asked you was, do you even know how gifted you are? Wow. It was I mean, a difficult question to conceptualize. So, I, and I meant it. You, you are, and I, I have, I've talked to in this in this capacity. I get to talk to a lot of gifted people, a lot of anointed people. Yes, um, but you have something that is just so remarkably different and powerful. Your sound is unique. Your presence is real. You, you know when you're listening to Molly music, and that to me is the de very definition of something powerful. But let but let, let let me start with something different. Um, what what are you grateful for when you look in your life right now? What are you grateful for? The opportunity to sing a song, and all of the things that make me suffer or question to become who I am internally. Mm. For you to be able to feel how you feel from my music. If not, maybe I have to be an athlete or you get what I'm saying or I do president or I, I there'll do. have to be some type of means for you to meet me through a position through a lane or a genre or field and then a deeper quest into the goodness in me and I'm glad that it's through music so that makes me have to be grateful for all the struggles that come with mm -hmm. being gifted <laughs> you know all the things that make you uh say, oh God, I don't want this, but yes. you're the only one who can stand out. I'm grateful for that. Yeah, yeah we're gonna have a whole conversation about being gifted later on. Um, but I think to me, is it is the height of a certain kind of spiritual genius to wow. be able to be grateful for your struggles, to be grateful for your suffering. Fear, um, yeah. Yeah, because listen, pe people underestimate the necessity of it. I think, I, I think, and you tell me if you agree with this, I think that suffering is the necessary condition for the possibility of greatness. Wow, can you can you key that please? <laughs> can you do you have the capacity to repeat what you just said? Yeah, I think that suffering is the necessary condition for the possibility of greatness. Mm -mm. I'll get that on my stomach like Tupac at <laughs> thug life. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> that, that's one of the things I love about you. One of the things I love about you is is your spontaneity and your and your capacity. You you plug into life. My, when I when I first met you, uh, and when I, I was had the privilege of because you were on the Tammy Mack show before, and we met at when we were still in the studio. We met at this in the studio, sitting um, around. Yeah, just sitting around. Uh, but I but I I I have a, one of my gifts is I can I can read people. I can sense people very quickly. Uh, you're, I'm also from New York, so you got to be able to do that on Sunday. <laughs> no, no, should I be nice? Or am I right gonna, now in yeah. three seconds? Yeah, am I going to be nice or am I going to knock you out? It's, it's, I got to know in three seconds how this is going. So go. that's how it is for New York because that's understand. that's how we are. We read you right away, knock out or say hi. <laughs> um, but tell 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 me what makes you uniquely Molly? Wow. Um, though I have frontline anointing and gifting. I was raised by um, just a supporting man. You know, not that my dad didn't have gifts because he was blessed, especially to make money and, you know, and provide. This is my stepdad. So he's showing me masculinity. So if someone's showing you something better, you kind of leave the old way. So the gift, you know, coming from my biological father, obviously, who's drenched in trophies and saxophone player, voice of thunder, you know, all those things. But being raised by a man who didn't care about that first thing caused me to care about more. And that plugged me into life. So now I love living. Life mm -hmm. is pain. Life mm -hmm. is, oh, I'm excited to go now. I'm in traffic late. It fell apart or whatever, but that's my version of the story. But, you know, now I'm mature enough to deal with that. Get to the next weekend and laugh about it. Now, mm. when it's time to laugh about it, I want to put it in a bottle. That's what makes me uniquely Molly. I'm using my life or the opportunity of the things that might make me suffer no matter what to write my own story. Mm. You get what I mean? So I won't, I won't run out of content because if I don't do anything in a day, that's a song. <laughs> You get what I mean? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah, a it, poem. 
Yeah. You get what I mean? Whatever it's I'm all, feeling. You, you use it all. You 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 bring yes. it all to the table. Um, and I I I love that. I I get annoyed when I have people on the show who want to bring me their product but not their lives. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, well, I don't care about your song. I don't care about your your book or your movie. I care about how this movie or song relates to your life, right? Yes. And that because and that's why they. I mean, look, there there are a thousand books out there, a million movies, a, a ten billion song. But when people know the story, mm. that that that's when they connect to what it is you're trying to do. Man, um, and, when you said that, it made me think of like restaurants which i miss because of the you know covid stuff like i just love restaurants and movie theaters which i haven't been able to go to but you get to pick how you interact with the waiter or waitress hmm. they could feel if you're there for a transactional experience like hey yeah let me get the um you know let me get the whatever yeah, grab my chicken. grab my this hurry up here and then they're like okay so now you're not there for their story. You're not there for their life. They could be a cyborg and you'll be just as pleased, you know, if they were a kiosk. So versus, you know, someone who's coming in, don't know what they're going to get. They order by asking you questions of what is good here? You know, what mm. should I have? And then that shows mm. your palate. And then it based off of that. And for, you know, it's like, hey, I feel that's a good person just from how they ordered the food because it was engaging. But what you're saying is the same thing, even in a relationship. So we can get in so many initial interactions that dating becomes transactional, not relational. Mm. So you don't expect to meet the person. You expect for both of you guys to successfully not trust each other, cloak, mask, and get through a night without letting anybody know anything about you, trying to get the best from them. It's crazy. That's deep. That's good, Molly. That's good. <laughs> But Plum the ones who bring it, they're, they're, they're vulnerable. And, and those are the ones who are like preyed on, you know? So mm -hmm. I'm grateful to do that because I know now through the times when I was naive and immature that they will take from you. So if you bring more than enough, they think they're getting away with something with the thousand dollars that they took from you or the thousand increase emotionally or the virtue that they steal from you and running away because it's more than they can handle when I only brought so much so that a million people can steal and I still have more than what I need. <laughs> yeah. Listen, tell me about a time in your life when you were not strong enough to be vulnerable. Wow, man. In love. In love. Hmm. In the time, there was a time inside of my, in the side of an important relationship to me where I had, I was in the wrong so because I was in the wrong, it caused me to be the one to understand why I was not trusted in a certain way. Mm -hmm. And then as time goes by, you don't know when that changes or when it clicks off. You get what I mean? And you can't be frustrated, aggravated or angry when it's your turn to sit in that wait seat because you're wrong and you can't dictate anything from that place. And if you try to do anything, I think the only option you have in that chair is suicide. You get what I mean? Because you're already in solitude, you're in isolation, you're with your own thoughts. So all you can take is your life. <laughs> so I think that that was one of the times that I've what, been. What do you mean by take your life? Not standing up, not coming up, not answering to what you're waiting to be on trial for. You get what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. hey, I am in love. You know, this is something I am interested in. It's like, OK, well, wait this amount of time. And then throughout that time, you're like, I want out. But no, there is no out. There's no guard to hear you. And this is what you signed up for. Man, I want to be strong enough, but I want out right now. I want out. Mm. Like, I, I want I want that, but I want both. <laughs> you know, and it mm. just it turns out to be crazy. And that caused me to really notice that I wasn't strong enough and show me what to work on. No, that's good. That 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 is the beginning. It's the beginning of the of, of what I think life wants us to be. Socrates said that philosophy is the art of learning how to die, right? Wow. Um, that, that, that each day we have to learn how to die better, uh, which, which, which seems Beautiful. like a contradiction, but it's not. It's not a contradiction. Um, tell me this, though, because I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly fascinated with you. Please, man. <laughs> you're, 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 we, we, I promise we're going to get to the music. I, you However, trust, it, trust all your of brother. this is the music. Um, see, that's what that that's why I love my music. That I right there. Um, how did the world treat you growing up? Because you don't seem like you were, let, let me let you answer. How did the world treat you growing up? 
Well, I didn't get many experiences with the world, so the world treated me good. <laughs> it's like mm-hmm. when you got a strong mama or like if you're a running back in the NFL and you got a good offensive line, you're not going to have some running back experiences. <laughs> all you're going to have is touchdowns and groundbreaking. All you're going to have is Emmett Smith career. You get so what talk I'm to saying? Me, so talk to me about your mama. Talk to me about your mama. What? Talk to me about your mama. Are they not the same? I mean, who doesn't care about something that they birth that's black, strong, a male, and crying loud? You get what I mean? Gave my life to God early. Told my mama what it is. So she, you know, I'm not in the trouble. All I want to do is sing. I'm going to protect my baby. Then my mother, you get what I mean? This is a woman who could sing Broadway. She could hit a high A, high octave. She was my first... I don't know, idol. You know, I think mm. mothers underestimate themselves because it's like a time where your kid is like, mommy, can you sing that? And it's like, girl, I can't sing. <laughs> like, yo, you're my favorite singer, you know? <laughs> but she would do praise and worship. She would go off. But, you know, once I started getting it in, she said, okay, I'm going to pass the ball. But mm. she managed me. It was one of those things where I was scared to, you know, come out. I was on my space with 7,000 inbox messages from the world saying, Molly, come out, let me speak to you. And I was scared. Showed my mm. mom. She was like, Molly, this is incredible. Scroll, scroll, scroll. The next day, mama, what you, she quit her job. <laughs> she became my manager. She made all those phone calls and we turned our lives around. What it were you from- afraid of? Disappointed my pastor, who was my leader. Cause I only, I'm just, I'm like a soul worshiper or servant like if i got one my one lord called i'll go against all you get what i mean and Mm -hmm. he was the one who gave me a keyboard when i was 11 before i could play when all i had was the promise of my instinct so Mm -hmm. i would give i just promise him the loyalty of my strength when you get strong from somebody who helped you get strong protect them you know so i understood through sensitivity that the church that i served at was his business his heart his baby and the means by which I was able to cultivate my gift that now has this demand in the world. And I didn't want him to have any question that I was wrestling with it. There was no dollar mm. amount. There was no stage. I wasn't interested in any way. They just liked what I got. You know, you know, it's funny. Jonathan McReynolds went through the same thing. Yeah, man. I was there to touch Jonathan McReynolds, which is make, makes it so profound that we share this Grammy nom. And I hope that we get it. So, you know, he, we can share that, too. But I was in Chicago. And they were doing a concert. He was singing in the group. And I just saw something special. This young kid. I'm yeah. like, bro, you're nuts. Your voice. But don't blend in. Don't go for the um, the group. Don't just sing a part. Stand out. Sing your song. You know, be truthful to what it is. There was some life experiences that me and him were able to go through together. Just on some brother-to-brother phone call stuff. Yeah. And from there, that developed a personal trust. So when he got yeah. the song, it was automatic. Yeah, no, it's interesting. I can just like I gotta take a quick break, and when we come no! back, yeah, yeah, I gotta pay the bills. <laughs> but, yes, but, sir, please. But, but when we come back, we're gonna we're gonna do a lot more with music. But I, I'm 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 deeply and profoundly fascinated at the engagement of your of your mind. To me, the you know being a great artist and and creating great music and great art is an extension, at least in part of the capacity of the mind of the artist and what we get ultimately, we get many things from the artist, but one of the things we get is his mind. And wow. your, your mind, your mind is, is quite fascinating. I'm glad tonight, I'm glad tonight that you had a mom who was able to push you into the light. Yeah. And I'm glad, I'm more glad that you struggled with being there because that says a lot about your capacity and your future. Wow, Doc. Let's Thank take you. a quick break. Welcome back, everybody. We're talking to Molly Music tonight, and uh, I absolutely adore this great artist. Um, There is, without question, a certain level of greatness on you. Um, I also think there's a certain level of greatness that you're going to achieve. I I, I don't think you've even scratched. I told us when when I met you, I, I meant every word of it. You have not even considered the levels and the height that I think that you that you're going to uh, achieve <laughs> in this, um, and you know, let's, I can't I can't act like you know this isn't happening. You you were recently nominated 
for a Grammy, you and Jonathan yes. McReynolds, uh, for the for the for one of my favorite songs, moving, moving on. on. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's why it's nominated. If it make both of us feel like that, like a, <laughs> like a scoop of ice cream, it's good. <laughs> I love that song. Absolutely, yeah, congratulations. How does it feel to have that? Great, great, <laughs> bigger than it. But you know, God gives me a little do- dose of it. Like when I listen to all James Brown songs, they all got a little scoop of the funk butter in it, you know, mm. but some of them just come out like Papa's got a brand new bag. Some of them just come together like, you know, I feel good. So I just, I feel good about the song, how it went. And mostly I just feel it's a message to me from God because it wasn't a studio session book. It wasn't like, hey, let's go get this Grammy. Let's connect. It was just like, oh man, I'm tired, bro. Like, man, if I could sleep right now, I would do that, but Jonathan is really excited. It's 11 at night. I just got finished with a whole concert with Ty Tribbett. I was just trying to serve my friends. That's a portion of, of what I do. Like That's why I do so many features. So mm. the fact that it came from that. So you could work, you could get in, you could book your whatever, but sometimes the thing, the clip everybody keeps watching is when you made a sacrifice when your grandma was sick to go sing for one of your friends at their funeral. And that clip just keeps playing because you sung from a different place. So yeah, it's yeah, not just yeah. God saying. You just said something that's very profound. That that a part of, you made a connection that's profound. A part of why this song is nominated for a Grammy and I think it's gonna win it, is because it comes out of you serving your friend, being there for your friend. Yeah. Job got double for his trouble when he prayed for his friends. Wow. I, I, I just, I just I, that, that connection needs to be heard tonight. I'm glad you said that. I hope the audience gets it. That sometimes the sacrifices you make for other people come back and kiss you on the mouth. Come on, man. And that's uh, that, that's so good. But there's a part in that song towards the end, like you go you go through this riff without you. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I feel I feel like you I feel like you just you go into another place. Man, I and I that. asked him too because we listened to the song maybe like three times, just where it went through. Him singing the verse, I know my real you. You know, he should sing so high. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Jonathan, you're not making no faces, but you singing really high, man. Like, wow. <laughs> so it just felt good. And I'm like, but I'm on here and the song was already written. It was already produced. And I was just like, can I please take Dominion on something? Can I get a part to just grab on? And he was like, man, you could do whatever you want. And the last part was just really like, saucy and and i and i like talking oh. to god and putting the words together so you know christ ahead and i'm just saying this body never will the love be spotty yeah. i pride myself on bringing light to the party holy ghost erect the father mind i'm naughty without you it's powder i'm a giant land. without your power i'm a nightmare nothing but Hey, <laughs> I love that. Every time I hear that part, I'm like, woo. Yeah, I wanted to find out how to come in because it's going to be a lot of people saying, well, who is this Molly music that Christ the head and I'm just in this body? It don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. That's I mean, it. but that, but it, it, it has such, it has such heft yeah. and body and, and, it, and it's, and it's, it's dancing, it, it's playing and, and it's 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 amazing. I, I that 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 riff reminds me of a riff that that I don't know if it's called the riff, but that section is I'm not a musician. That's good. It's <laughs> but that it. section reminds me of something Marvin Winans did um, ooh, ooh. when he was singing with Anita Baker. Ain't no need to worry with the night. Yeah, there, there's yeah. a part of that song where where Anita Baker loses it. She See, goes to I a whole about to get a spin as soon as I get off the book of Sean. <laughs> Keep happy. What a, she do? There's a part in that song where she just, she goes to another place, man. Right, right. I call, I, when she goes into that. But so she's saying words and she's just like scatting. No, she's saying words. She's, she's praying. You can, oh, you can tell she's praying in the song. And that's that's what I got from what you were doing. Let's, all right, let, let, me, let, me, let me change gear because I get wrapped into that. Um, what's, what's your favorite song of yours? Mm. Walking Shoes. Sing a little bit of it. Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, my walking shoes on. Can't tell you where I'm going, but I'm walking down this lonely road. But at least the scenery is beautiful. And no matter what I do, I can't stop walking. No. 
I know it's the only way to go. And if we keep walking, I'm going to be okay. It's not always about knowing why. Sometimes it's all about knowing what. And that's enough to keep me walking every day. I believe, I believe. But it's a dream that I ain't seen yet. I'm chasing them dreams that I ain't seen yet. But I'm a minute halfway if I keep on walking. Hey, I feel you. I don't feel I'll ever be an age or to a point to where... I'm chasing a dream that I ain't seen yet. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm living by faith. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah. Now, my, my favorite song of yours is Royalty. Uh. Royalty. <laughs> Man, can Royalty. I sing a little bit of yeah, it? Yeah, can you? I'm kind of pop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Man, one of these strings is, is giving me a wonky time. Ooh. Royalty, royalty, power to the chosen people. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's my favorite part when we That's did that. Part. I said, power I said, D-Mile, we got a people. song right here. <laughs> Don't start it till you do it like this. <laughs> That's my part, Doc. Power to the chosen people. <laughs> um, Called out of the darkness into the marvelous light. Do you know who you are? Royalty, yeah. Once we were the people, mm. now we are the people. Ooh, do you know who you are? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, Identity yeah. is such a big portion of songs because when people listen to it, they're like, well, who am I when I'm listening to this? Oh, this makes me feel like this. This makes but, me but feel. That, but your, your music brings together identity and theology in a very My unique Lord. way. What you do in your what you what you do in your music? Let, let me let me talk to you, please. Doctor. <laughs> your, your your music has deep theological ideas and concepts in there. Yes. Don't waste theology on just explaining the divine. What you do is you you do exactly what I think Jesus did. You use theology to make the divine the occasion to understand ourselves. Come on. So your your music explains life. And it takes us into the presence of the divine. Yes. But you understand that I can't meet God and hide from myself. And your music does that beautifully. That, that's the power of you, 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 you have a line in that song where you say, Mercy made us a people. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Come Mercy on, you caught feel- that ad lib. Cause you're not worth it. You're just like, hey, here's your crown. <laughs> Come on, man. But that's my point, Molly. Mercy is a theological concept, Ooh. and you and you marry it with becoming a people. It's identity and theology. All right, let me stop because they'll because they'll be like, Doctor Sean, you can't go to class. <laughs> yes, you uh, can. You know, take um, me to the wall, Doc. <laughs> but, but but before I change gears altogether, do a little bit of still. Yes, because that that that's my song. This is one of the songs that got me to the Grammy dance before too. I'll go to the hook. That's why I'll always be in love with you. Still do it all. That's when we're going up. Going up when we rise. Rise and fall, you know I'll always be in love with you, still, whoa, still. I like when we go to that part. Still and four more bars for me, ooh, whoa, whoa, still. All right. Yeah, your your vocal. Who 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 influences your sound? Your 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 how you use and what you do with your voice. Who's Instruments. Really? Instruments. I'm a musician. No, no singers. A lot of singers. Okay. But all the singers sound like instruments. You know, like tone. So, um, Otis like Redding. Who? Otis okay. Redding. Um, I love how he he attacks a song. It's like it's something in his voice. Like so, 
I don't want to sing low. Like, and then Rick James, I was heavily inspired by just the audacity on the mic. Like, he just sing hard and I love it, you know? And then on top of it, if you flip the other side of the coin, I'm still influenced by the vocalization of Don't hurt me beautiful. And that beat, that's a song. So wait, hold on. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's different than singing. I'm not like, oh, but when me singing that, let you know a song. Show yeah. me, show Baby. Yeah, that's yeah. all I need to do. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, okay. See, but, that, but Molly, that, that's what makes you interesting. Is that is that <laughs> I can I can hear those, yes, in, especially that Prince's influence. Oh yeah, in, in in your music, and I, I guess I, I I was gonna say it's odd, but Prince was a very spiritual man. Prince, Prince, Prince to the end. Yeah, to the end. Yeah, to the end. I don't know where he got the concepts from, and he had a way the ability to channel his frustration to his greatness. He could be upset and make something that was like, here, hold it, you know? So I just, I've always been influenced by the audacity of the people that I loved, but I'm like, man, I don't want to incite sexual vigor. Mm. You get what I mean? I can't mm. handle all that. You get what I mean? And my mama won't let me. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> so it was just a different side. And I'm like, but I do want to, affect someone and I just set my target on God because okay they made it okay a five-year-old can worship God so you can cry from the way that he makes you feel at nine years old and people understand it as adults so that's what I'm like okay that is going to be my intention I want to set him on fire every time and he don't really mm. care about the notes I've learned they get good when you get the correct heart posture you know mm. so like when you sing a happy birthday to your mom if you think about how you sound it sounds like this like Happy birthday to you, cause you're on key. But if you're looking at it and she like, say happy birthday for me, you like, happy birthday. Cause you want to feel her through it. Yeah, you get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then y'all start to get that connection. So that's what makes me sing. I'm like, okay, okay, here we go, God. I'm gonna get over the fear because you're worth my song at this moment. That's good, that's good. Listen, I, I, I gotta go, but before I do, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you some 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 quick questions. Give me some quick Please. answers. Gotcha. Um, what do you wish you could do? Uh, play basketball professionally. Mm, really? I didn't expect you to say that. Um, what do you long for? Um, the one that God designed to be on this earth specifically for me to be in my life actively aware that that's what they're allowed to do. That's a good answer. Sometimes you got somebody that's made to love you that's busy doing something else. I know that's right, but that's another show. Hallelujah. Um, my, my, last, my last two questions. Um, what do you wish you knew then that you know now? The value of a lyric. Mm. I own all my publishing, but I didn't know that that, though, that was the monetary fertilizer and soil for everything else to come out of. So I've been wasteful with my publishing. Mm. Here's my last question. What's next? The full flourishing. I think everything that we've been seeing and affected by has been the fact that something has grown in this land at all. And it's been green and green is good, but there's a red flower that comes out of the bud. Mm -hmm. And I believe that that has everything inside of it. Music, visual, writing and art and you're speaking about yourself yes so mm -hmm. I'm, I, like my my books are saying how to write a screen right like how do you script mm -hmm. how do you what is the way you write a movie for somebody to understand that i want this to be a movie and this cat you know and how do i get books done with the publishing to where it's done well yeah all those yeah. things you you have all of that inside of you you have all of that capacity inside of you it must be a strange thing uh, for you to wake up uh, as often as I pray you do, to have so much inside with so little language by which to express it all. Um, you remind me of someone who is uh, smart, um, but uh, limited by the language he has access to. Yeah. Um, but I, 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 I believe, Molly, that before it's all over, you're going to be multilingual. You're going you're gonna to speak many languages. Yeah, I wish I knew levels. eight. I wish I knew eight languages and there's so many languages that I revere. So I'm grateful mm -hmm. to all the people who do know 
and and you're so right, spot on. All right, man. Listen, I gotta go. You gotta come back and talk to me sometime. I enjoy man, talking to you. Absolutely. Let's let's uh do a socially distant lunch. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it, man. I guess we'll eat nachos like this, like you know. You yes, <laughs> we'll talk. We'll, we'll talk, and, and and you can teach me how to sing. Listen, Molly, music, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>